Today on the Scrand Line, I'm gonna be showing you how to make this boozy tiramisu. It's made up of layers of coffee-soaked sponge finger biscuits, freshly whipped mascarpone cream, and it's dusted with a generous layer of cocoa. Let's get stuck into the recipe. So the first thing you wanna get ready is the coffee mixture. It's really, really easy. I've got some espresso powder here. I'm gonna add that into a heat-proof jug. And then here I've got some boiling water. We're just gonna add two cups of that. All right, now optional, but I'm gonna add it because it adds flavor, is I have uh, some rum here. So this is black rum. And we're gonna add in two tablespoons of that in here. And you just wanna give that a stir. We're gonna set this aside to cool to room temperature. And then I've got like a shallow wide bowl here and I'm gonna be using that later on for this coffee mixture to dip the cookies in or the sponge finger biscuits. Let's move on to the cream layer. Now I'm gonna be using egg yolks in this cream layer. They are gonna be raw egg yolks. Now in Australia, it's generally safe to eat raw eggs if they're fresh but if you don't want to use them where you are, you just don't feel good about that, you can leave them out, just keep in mind. The egg yolks actually are in there to add richness and a little bit of flavor, but if you leave them out, your cream mixture will be a little bit on the thicker side, which is actually not a bad thing. It's quite delicious still, but today I am gonna be using the egg yolks. So we're gonna begin by adding our egg yolks into Peggy today, my stand mixer. If you don't have your own Peggy, you can just use an electric hand mixer. We're also gonna be adding some caster sugar, or you might know it as super fine sugar. And we are gonna fit this with a balloon whisk and we're gonna whip this on high speed for five minutes. It's gonna go really thick and frothy. All right, so that has been whipping up for about four, four and a half, five minutes. You just wanna scrape it down and just make sure that everything is whipping up properly. I'm just gonna whip it up for a couple more minutes and we'll move on to the next step. All right, so that's nice and thick and creamy. It's falling off in a ribbon, I've tasted it already. So really, really easy. The next step is adding some I'll try saying it properly, mascarpone, I think it is. So mascarpone is like a, um, it's almost like a sour cream meets cream cheese, but it doesn't taste as strong as cream cheese. It's really, really creamy, and it's just gonna add a lot of creaminess and texture to this cream. We're also gonna be adding some heavy cream in here and we're gonna whip this up until it's nice and thick and we reach stiff peaks. All right guys, so our cream is done. Now, my favorite thing about tiramisu, other than how incredibly delicious it is, is that, by the way, <laughs> side note. <laughs> The rum in this, the fume from the coffee and the rum is like kind of making me tipsy. Anyway, so my favorite thing about tiramisu other than how delicious it is, is that I'm gonna be making it in a glass dish and this glass dish has a lid and once I'm done, I'll just pop the lid on, pop it in the fridge. The next day when I'm going to wherever I'm going to serve it, take the lid off, it's easy to serve. So you can make this like a day in advance. You can make it a couple of days in advance. In fact, the longer you make this like a couple of days in advance, the flavors have a party in the fridge and they get to know each other and it just makes it extra delicious. Let me show you what to do first. So I've got some uh, unsweetened cocoa powder here. I'm just kind of pop it in a sift. I call this a sift. All right, so we're gonna dust the bottom of this with a generous layer of cocoa powder. So that's the first thing. The second thing is the sponge finger biscuits. So let me just pour this coffee very slowly so it doesn't go everywhere like I just did. 
into the shallow dish that I have here and it's just gonna make dipping them a little bit easier. Now, let me quickly chat to you guys about the sponge finger biscuits. So, there's a couple of different kinds and these are just like regular. They're a little bit on the smaller side. This is all I could find in Melbourne right now. I don't know why, but uh, these soak in liquid really, really quickly. And that means that they crumble or fall apart really quickly when you dip them in. So. I'm actually just gonna be like lightly dipping them on each side and that's all these will need. But you'll need to judge for yourselves when you're making this, if you've got the kind that soak in liquid really quickly or if you've got the better kind where you can dip them in fully submerged and they're still okay to put in here. The point is you don't wanna kind of soak them too much because then this just gets really liquidy and soft. You want it to be nice and firm and like you can put your fork through it and it's like a regular cake. So don't dip them too much. All right, so now we have our first layer of biscuits. I'm gonna add half of this whipped cream that we prepared on top of the biscuits. And we're just gonna use a spoon to spread it around as neatly as you can. One of the really cool things about tiramisu, especially when you're making it in a glass dish like this, is being able to see like the defining layers here. So you wanna be as neat as you can with the cream. Don't let it go too far up the glass dish, otherwise you won't be able to see those delicious layers. And when you walk in to wherever you're going with it, you won't hear, ooh, tiramisu. Trust me, it's worth it. <laughs> All right, so get it as flat as you can. And then we are gonna add another generous dusting of cocoa powder. So the cocoa powder actually does a couple things. It adds like this dark defining bit in between the layers, which looks really, really cool. It adds flavor, but it also helps prevent, like if you over soak these cookies, it helps prevent that liquid from just like floating on top of the cream. It'll mix with the cocoa and create this like chocolatey paste. I served these to my in-laws yesterday, guys, and they're Italian, uh, so, and they loved it, by the way, which is very encouraging to hear from a Greek who doesn't own this recipe. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so I thought I'd just chuck that in. If an Italian loves it, then you know it's gonna be good. All right, let's add the rest of this cream. Spread it around. So I actually added more cream in this middle layer here because I didn't want to have too much of that cream on top because I'm going to pop this in the fridge and tomorrow when I come back and show you how to finish this, I'm gonna add some freshly whipped cream on top because I think it kind of adds more to this dessert looks wise. And I'm gonna finish it off. We're gonna do a taste test. It's gonna be marvelous. I'll see you guys tomorrow, which is gonna be two seconds. So it's the next day and the tiramisu is still in the fridge. I'm about to bring it out. But before we do that, I want to whip up some cream. So I've got some heavy cream here. I'm gonna pour that into my mixing bowl Make sure that your cream is really, really chilled straight out of the fridge, otherwise it doesn't whip up as well. Normally I don't add sugar to my whipped cream, it's just a personal preference, but I will. I'm only adding a teaspoon of caster sugar in here and then a good splash of vanilla extract. I'm gonna use my electric hand mixer and we're gonna whip this up to stiff peaks. All right, so that's done. Now, a little trick, if you add a little bit of mascarpone or even replace the sugar with like two tablespoons of sweetened condensed milk, that stabilizes the cream and it means that it's not gonna melt by the time you've driven to wherever you're going for the holidays to serve this. So I actually added two tablespoons of mascarpone and we're done. It's whipped. I'm gonna go grab the tiramisu. Okay, so this is nice and chilled. Can you see those like nice biscuits peeking through the cream there? That's what you want. And that's what's gonna make people go, ooh, when they see it. All right, so I've got my whipped cream in a piping bag. I just fitted it with a round tip and then filled it up. 
completely optional guys, this part, but I just feel like it finishes this dessert off and makes it that much more special presentation wise. So we're just gonna simply pipe some little bulbs of that whipped cream on top until we filled all of this up. And a generous dusting of cocoa powder just to finish it off. I would actually recommend that you do that cocoa powder right before you serve this. Most people will have it in their kitchen so you can take it to where you're going and dust it right before you serve it. Otherwise, you can do it ahead of time but the cocoa powder will kind of react with the moisture from the cream and it, it won't look as nice and fresh. Now, this is completely done. It looks just so classic and it's the kind of thing that you just really want to slice of. So that's exactly what we're going to do right now. The question is now, how do you take a tiramisu out of here without it looking bad when you put it on your plate? And I don't have the answer to that. <laughs> Look, the first slice is always going to be the roughest looking. So I'm just going to use a spoon for ideally not one with holes like mine. I can't find the one that doesn't have the holes. So you're just going to scoop the first one out and it's only for me right now. So I'm not going to worry too much about what it looks like, but I'll make sure it looks pretty for the photos. That is delicious. Let me explain what's going on right now. So you've got your coffee soaked biscuits. They started off as like hard biscuits, but because of the moisture, they've softened into like a cakey, like a sponge cake texture. You've got them soaked in the coffee, which is delicious. You can taste the rum, you can taste the cocoa, you can taste the delicious sweet cream and the bitterness from the freshly dusted cocoa powder on top. I mean, if you've never had a tiramisu before, guys, this is the time to try it. And if you have, give this recipe a go. It's so easy to make. You're gonna find the recipe in the link, which is in the description box below. Click on that, grab the recipe. If you make it, tag me on social media. I'm gonna have another slice. Um, before I do though, there's some videos over there that you can check out of more delicious recipes from me. And while you're here, hit the subscribe button and hit the like button as well. I'm gonna have another one of these and wait for you guys to do all of that. Mm. It's so divine. It's like melt in your mouth, soft, creamy, delicious. All right, guys, I will see you all on the next episode of The Scram Line. I shouldn't talk with my mouth full. Bye.